Hey guys, this is the first video on a couple videos on replacing the engine heads on this 351 Windsor. I'm putting GT40 heads on it. Um, you'll see in a second, one of the rocker studs broke off. So I figured I'd take these terrible 75 heads off and put uh, some GT40 heads on. It'll be a great upgrade. Um, so let's get started. All right, this is about where we're at so far. I'm gonna try and leave the distributor in. We'll see if that works. I am just about ready to start taking the intake off. I'm gonna unbolt it and take it off first. All right, got the intake off. Did not have to take the distributor out, so that's nice. Won't have to worry too much about retiming it. I am now gonna take the valve covers off. You'll have notice I took that push rod out already. I had to drive the truck after I figured out that the uh, uh, stud broke off. So I just took the push rod out and um, drove it with the spark plug taken out. Don't recommend it, but I did get it to where I needed it and it was only a couple miles down the road. So we're good to go. So let's get these valve covers off. All right, valve covers off. You can see intake stud just popped right off. So. Um, I could have done like a full adjustable rocker conversion on this, but it was going to cost too much money. I'd need to get the heads worked on anyways. And then I found these GT40 heads come came. They come with rockers already. It was off a running motor. So, I mean, it just makes more sense to throw on those heads. So the next part is to take these headers out and that's going to suck because I have to use a wrench on almost every single one of those bolts, except maybe that one and that one, but that's fine. All right, um, I got the two brackets off the front here. Um, so the head should be ready to come out. I think I'm just going to undo the head bolts as long as I can get to them all and just pull them right out and uh, then pull the push rods after that. All right, I got those heads off, so that's good. Now I gotta start cleaning stuff up and uh, I gotta get all this gasket material off of here. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, Make sure everything's clean and then we'll start planning for what putting the new heads on is going to look like and um, go from there. All right, so I needed check, uh, push rods for the new heads and I was going to use a push rod length checker, but the one I have is too long. So I've got to order a new one. Um, when that comes in, I may or may not make a video on how to do that because I'm still learning, but I'll make a video on what I learned hopefully. So that's all for today. Um, hopefully y'all are getting some good info, info on this and uh, subscribe to keep up with the build. Thanks.